All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. And that's our Heavenly Father in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, whose name is Yahweh, who you ignorantly call God, and Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. I want to give double honors to the head of apostles at Great Millstone for teaching us teaching us this truth and who we will. And we want to give double uh, peace, greetings, and salutations uh, to the hopefully elect. And I'm, uh, I'm Barak Abar. I'm your brother Amawan Ibad. All right, we just came together through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, okay, to uh, do a lesson. Okay, and um, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, uh, do this lesson based upon wisdom, okay, because we're in some uh, perilous and troubling times that we're living in. And, um, you know, it's imperative to the uh, hopefully elect, okay, the men and women out there who are followers of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, to uh, exude wisdom in these days, okay, because we see our people right now in, um, in uproar, and, um, you know, we see a lot of our people uh, dealing with foolishness, man, and folly, all right, so I'm going to start off with Matthew chapter 10, verse 16, it says, behold, I see you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves, okay, so the Lord there is a way to walk. There is a way to act. Okay, out here, uh, around about our enemies. Okay, we are to be uh, wise as serpents and harmless as doves because we are in the midst of of wolves. Okay, and as you know, we always say you can see what's going on, man. Things are really hot right now. You know, prophecy, biblical prophecy, is uh moving at a very rapid pace here on the planet Earth, and um, you know, it's very important for us to move. With the wisdom that we were taught by our uh, by the Holy Spirit and and by our uh, apostles and elders, okay, and, these, and, the, and the brothers on down, you are to uh, display and use your wisdom now. Now is the time to use what you have learned, okay? Because as you, you the, the 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 internet might get shut down, okay, okay, and uh, particular things are going to start to happen upon the planet Earth, and you are to use what you were taught to uh, maneuver. And to get you out of this place until the Lord comes in and get us. That's right, brother. Yeah, what the, what the brother was saying it was absolutely correct. We gotta um, we gotta use wisdom. That's the reason why um, we was you know we was given wisdom. Wisdom is a gift from from the Most High. And I mean, as pertaining to the book of uh, pertaining to the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter eight and verse twenty one, lets you know that wisdom is is actually a gift. You know, so when you get wisdom, the scriptures say to study to show thyself approved. You know, the, the Lord working with you and the Spirit is on you. You 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 get wisdom, but you get it for a reason. You get it to 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 actually apply it. You know, as it says in um, Proverbs um, four and seven, wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting. Get understanding. So you're getting wisdom to actually apply wisdom, to, to know when and how to apply wisdom, you know? Because if you got wisdom and you're not using it, then you 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 could you could befall your own self. You know what I mean? You could you could you could fall down, you know? But I'm um for for, for another example to to um to line back off of the brother here for another example. We're gonna get uh, Matthew chapter um five and verse twenty-five. Well, it's just, it's, this is just a show for another example for you, for, for our people out there, you know. It, it says, um, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 25, Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and the officer, and thou, slack him, officer, and thou be cast into prison. So, um... That's just a lesson for you to learn, so something for you to, to know, to obtain, to just have wisdom, to know that when you go into certain situations, for example, if a, if a cop pull you over, there's no reason, there's no, no need to, 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 to get all defensive and get up, make a big uproar of the situation when you could just agree with him while you're in the way with him. That's right. You know what I mean? Nice and neat. Mm -hmm. And maybe the situation wouldn't escalate to another level. So this is the reason why the scripture is here for you to actually use that wisdom when that time comes. Because if you don't use it, it could go the other way. You know what I'm saying? So 
that's what it is. You're right, brother. And, um, you know, I'm going to land back off the brother right here uh, using wisdom, man, because right about now, man, if a cop pull you over, all right, you're, 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 you're basically in his hands, man. Okay? This is Sirach chapter 9, verse 13. It says, Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death, and if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. Okay, so, you know, the, the, the these uh different police officers and the troops are here, man. The troops are all these uh That's right. These troops and these uh police officers, they have the power to kill, man. Okay, and these are these troops are the sword of the heavenly father. Okay, so if you when you're using wisdom, okay, and when you have wisdom, and wisdom is uh, uh in these scriptures, man, you know that okay, the, the scriptures tell you how to act accordingly. Okay, when you are presented with different circumstances in, in, in life, man, and then going forward, things are going to get harder. So one false move, and you ain't using wisdom. Okay, if the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai ain't with you, man, you through. So it's important right. that one wrong move, man. It, that's all it takes, man. Now we know that the elect were preordained before the foundation of the world to receive salvation. We know that, but also the elect. Okay, the Lord gave the elect, he equipped them with the tools to maneuver, man, throughout throughout uh, uh this captivity and throughout these uh, throughout prophecy. Okay, so it, there is a certain way to move. You know, you are not to go out there and loop. Okay, what are you out there protesting for, man? You already know the so-called white man isn't gonna give you justice. He ain't gonna give you uh justice or peace, man. Not He's never gonna stop killing you. He hasn't stopped. When you check this man background. Check his background, man. Do a background check on the so-called white man. Has he ever uh, uh, given you a pass? Has he ever stopped killing you? No, man. Okay, and these scriptures uh, are the guidelines to how to move in these times. That's right, brother. Yes, that's the, like the brother was saying. We're in that time. We're in that time where, you know, Second Ezra 15, chapter 15, and Second Ezra chapter 16 is... It's coming well alive and you know what is prophesying, you know, the sword famine and all of these things. So as it says in um, um, Isaiah 33 and verse 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So you're going to need wisdom to get through, to channel your way through what's coming on the earth right now. Right. You're going to need wisdom. These are. Uh, 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 these jakes that are out in the street looting and taking people things that are not their own and uh, damaging people property and all of this different stuff like that. They didn't build these places to tear them down and they did these equipment and uh, these clothes and these Jordans and these things they're taking out of these stores where they looting they are not their stuff but they're just doing that they're using the situation right to take advantage they're taking advantage of the situation rather I should say you know because they don't own those things Right? That's right. That's right. So, like we say, you out there during those protests and you looting and anything happened to you, that's, right. that's of your own fault because mm -hmm. you shouldn't be out there. Yep. Okay? That's, that's, that's the two thirds. The two thirds think carnally. They don't think spiritually. You know, they, they're not, they're not, they're not dealing and dwelling in wisdom because if they were dealing with wisdom, they wouldn't have been out there. But you have to happen. You have to know that anything that happens to you, Right? That is of your own doing. Okay? Because these people out there who are in charge of their, the government, especially the, the, the to say, the people who are in charge, right? The, we know, say, the wicked is the most high sword. Right. Okay? As it says in Psalm chapter 17 and verse 13, mm -hmm. deliver my soul, O Lord, from the wicked. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So this is, this is who the, 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 the most high uses to punish. Okay, so we're going to get a, 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 a precept. Actually, we're going to read a little bit of the Romans chapter 13 on this same matter real quick. We'll get a couple of um, verses out of it. This is Romans chapter 13. Okay, and it says, uh, beginning at verse 1, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power other than the most high. So there is no power higher than the most, um, the most high. What you see set up on the earth right now is a deemed of the most high, okay? It says, for there is no power but the most high. The powers that 
He are ordained of the Most High. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of the Most High. So if you're going against the power that is over your head on the earth right now, which will be the authority, okay, it's you going against the Most High. Okay, and it continues on and say, and they that resist shall receive them to themselves damnation. And the time that we're coming into right now, that damnation could, that could equals death. For many people, you see when the troops them start rolling in and they, this martial law, this, this, um, draconian law setting, right. martial, martial means warlike. Mm -hmm. So when we go into that warlike state, when we, when that time actually comes on the earth, they're not going to be playing with you, Drake's man. They're going to be mowing you down in the street because you're not using wisdom. You're thinking carnally. Mm -hmm. All right. So it, it, it says, um, for rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. So that means if you're being good, you have to fear nothing, okay? Will thou then not be, uh, will thou not, not then be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. So if you're a person keeping the law, statutes, commandments, trying to do right by the most high, you know what I mean? You're calling on his, uh, calling on his name, you know what I mean? You lauded to be a part of the one third of the hopeful, uh, hopeful elect. Then you really got this to worry about because your mindset wouldn't be to go out there and be looting. That would, that would, it just wouldn't be you. The spirit wouldn't allow you to do that. Right? So continue on reading it on. It says, for he is the minister of the most high to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid for he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of the most high, our avenger, an avenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. So like the brother was going into earlier, you know, it was the scripture was saying, uh, uh, keep me away from him that have power mm -hmm. to take away the life. That's right. That scripture is mm -hmm. it's saying the same thing. He's, he's the minister of the most high. That's right. Okay. So that's what it is, man. Mm -hmm. it, you know, and um, th those powers are ordained by the heavenly father because Yahweh Bashim Yahushua rules in the kingdom of men. That's right. All right. And um, I'm going to get, uh, this is Romans chapter 12, verse 17. It says, recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Okay? So you you know, I know, I know a lot of you jakes, man, who are who doesn't have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Of your how about Shimei Shad and doesn't know what's going on, man. Okay, but that's why the Lord put his men on the planet Earth to teach you, man. All right, so you can get that understanding. And I know a lot of Jakes are upset about the so-called white man, and they're looking for a way, man. All right, mm -hmm. they're looking for a, a way, and you can see right. it. That, that's, that's why right. they got their rioting, man. That's but right. that's not the way. It's not the way. Rioting going out there, right? That ain't the way, man. That's not the way the Lord uh, wants you. That's not what He wants you to do, man. Because Look, we didn't try everything already, man. Black Panther, we didn't try particularly setting up our own uh, community. Okay, the Lord, the Lord didn't want you. To, uh, that's not the way, man. This is the way. This is the only way. You can't go up another way, man. That's right. Repentance that's is right. the only way, man. It's this no is the, so I can, brother, bro. So I can, if it's no other way, like you're saying, that scripture and, and the curse is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. The mm -hmm. very last verse of that chapter, it says, right. and no man shall buy you. That's right. That word buy means that's redeem. Right. Meaning right. say, like your brother was going to, no Black Panther, mm -hmm. no Marcus Garvey, yeah, yeah, no yeah. Malcolm X, right. no Martin Luther King, uh -huh. only our Lord. Lord, yeah, how up by Hashem? Or the new you know? guy, uh, uh, Grandmaster J. Oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> Grand <laughs> the Asian provocateur. Hey, the Asian provocateur is gonna lead you to the slaughter, man. Yeah, you know, that's it. It's only one. It's only one. The Lord, the Lord, the Hawashi is coming back, man. That's, that's right. the way. That's right. You cannot go up another way, man. And we need the Lord. <laughs> we need him. We need the Lord. You know, as you can see, we need the Lord more than ever. And, you, and to, uh, what I was saying that by what I'm saying is you can't go up another way is the only way you're going to be able to get a sound mind, the only way you're going to be able to be saved from this man, because he's you clearly can see you he's a, a wicked, vile, evil man. That's right. Okay? So the Lord has to save you, man. That's right. You you can loot all the stores. You can you can bust up all the cars. You can this man. You got to get out of this man's hands, man. And the only way you're going to be able to get out of this man's hands is seeking the Lord. That's right. That's the only way. There's only one way, man. 
Okay, we like I like we just said, man. We didn't try everything else, man. That's right. Okay, the Lord put put the put the true men of the Lord on on here on the planet Earth to show you the way, man. And we learn from our uh, apostles and elders. Okay, this is the only way, man. We need the way. We need the Lord, brothers and sisters. We need the Lord, cause guess what? Remember, the closer we get to the coming of the day of the Lord, the worse the things is going to be on the planet. Okay, the closer we get to the coming of the day of the Lord the more rough things are going to be on the planet. We still have Jeremiah 30 and 7, Jacob's trouble, a time that has never been before. There is no day like it. That's right. Okay? It's called Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it, roughly paraphrased in the yeah. verse. Okay? That we're going to need divine intervention, that the yeah. Mosai is going to send the archangel uh, Michael, mm -hmm. the prince, to stand up for his people. Mm -hmm. So we're coming into a very, very rocky time. So if you're not dealing with Isaiah 33 and 6 and applying wisdom, mm -hmm. which is going to be the stability of that times. Brothers, listen, the powers that be were set up by the Most High. Okay? We have to remember this. There is no power higher than the Most High power, Yahweh. That's right. Bahashim Yahweh So the powers that's on the earth that's set up to be, you have to obey the power. The only way you don't have to obey that power if it's that power is going against the Most High law, statutes, and commandments. That's the only way you break away from that. Well, like, like the Most High say, you mustn't, you mustn't receive the mark of the beast. You listen to the Most High. We don't have to listen to them on that. We don't have to right. agree with them. Mm -hmm. But anything else that's not breaking the Most High rules. Mm -hmm. So looting is not the Most High rule. That's not a part that's of right. the commandment. Still breaking right. That's stealing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's stealing. not a part of it. You know, all of this killing one another and all of this different type of stuff. That's not of the Most High. That's right. You understand? So, um. Again, to line back off of Romans 13 and 1, this is 1 Peter 2 and 13. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme or unto governors as them that are sent by him for a punishment, for the punishment, salaki, of evildoers and the praise of them that do well. Okay? For he is the wealth, salaki, for for so is the will of the Most High, that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, okay, as free, and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, okay, so not making an excuse for you to be wicked, in other words, okay, let's read 16 again, as free, and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of the Most High, honor all men, love the brotherhood, Fear the Most High, honor the King. So you can't be out here just looting and tearing down people, things, and all of this. But I mean, for the, for the most part, a lot of them is uh, the, those those two thirds. So that's what they're going to do anyway. Because the Scripture tell you in our Second Ezra chapter sixteen and verse twenty <laughs> that they're not going to be mindful of the scourges. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all for 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 the sorrows that's beginning to come on the earth and the sword and the famine and all of these different things that's coming on the earth they still going to remain wicked and they're not going to repent this is prophesied so we know two thirds of our people going to just get cut off that's right mm -hmm. and, um, you know and um you know about uh, you know the topic we'll be going on is wisdom man and uh, you know right here I got an example of, of wisdom from my lord who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ his name is Yahweh Shah. And um, you know, when Yahweh Shah, when Yahweh Shah hour has had came, you know, when he uh was about to ready be ready to be grabbed up. Okay, and um, but before I go into the, into that, you know, we're gonna be put in particular situations, okay? The Lord is gonna try us. And um, you know, and through that trial, okay, whatever it may be, different brothers are gonna have different trials. All right, you sisters too, whatever the case may be, man, we are to uh, use wisdom, man. And we have to use wisdom because the Lord is going to put you in particular situations to see what man or man you are and to try you as gold. Okay, and this is uh, Matthew 26, verse 51. It says, and behold, one of them which were with Yahweh stretched out his hand, and that was Peter. And drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest and smote off his ear. Okay, so Peter, when the, when the, when they came to get Peter, I mean, when they came to get Yahweh Shah, Peter pulled out his sword out of sheath and cut the servant's ear off. It says, then Yahweh Shah, uh, then said Yahweh Shah to him, 
put up again thy sword into its place. For all that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Okay? So that goes to show you, man, Yahweh Shah has Yahweh Shah it basically is the wisdom, okay? <laughs> of Yahweh of Yahweh, man. That's right. All right. So, you know, uh Yahweh, Yahweh Shah was the comforter, man. When That's he right. was walking on planet Earth, all right. But before Yahweh Shah left, he said, I won't leave you comfortless. And okay, and he sent down the Holy Spirit. Okay, now Holy Spirit is dwelling with his men right now. Okay, so if you take basically you take you you taking up the sword, man. Okay, you you gonna you're gonna die with the sword, man. That's what Yahweh Shah told Peter. So all you out there who wanna go against uh the ordinance, you wanna go, you wanna go and uh shoot up stuff, and you wanna go be a hootlum, you wanna go do what you wanna do. All right, Yahweh Shah got something for you, man. Okay, this is verse 53. It says, Thinkest thou that I cannot pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels? Okay, so Yahweh Shah had the power to call down legions of angels, man. Okay, but he used wisdom, okay, because he ultimately knew that this was his time. Okay, this was his time. This is what he knew what he was on the planet Earth to do, man, to be that sacrifice. Okay, first and foremost for the for to atone for his sins. Okay, but also uh for the elect, man. First and foremost, he died for the elect, and then you know the rest of Israel. But the point of the matter is, it's wisdom, man. It's right. wisdom, and he ultimately knew that this was his time. Okay, yeah, that, that's right, brother. That's right. And remember, um, our Lord, our Lord was um, um Solomon. If you can get it into the reincarnation, come on, come on. you can receive, it. right? And you know, King yeah. Solomon was the wisest man. That's right. Right. So, um, yeah. So this lesson today is about wisdom, how brothers and sisters could apply wisdom in their life, because this is the reason you get it for, to actually apply it when the time comes, you know? So we got to just, our wisdom is in the scriptures, you know, not with no other, you can learn things from other books, but this is the true book, you know, when you stay within those those commandments, the law, statutes, and commandments, which is life. That's right, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Which is life. <laughs> so, uh, you know? Yeah, that's right, bro. Yeah, the, the highest <laughs> form of knowledge and wisdom that's is right. in the scriptures. That's right, bro. Okay? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. That's right. Okay? So you don't know. Isaiah 34 and 16. Not one of these shall fail. Meaning the prophecies, and they come into pass right now. Okay? None shall want her made. So, you don't really need no other book. This is the book that you need. So I'm going to read a few scriptures from um, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 14. And it reads, But continue in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and, and that from a child that has, thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, okay, which is Hamashiach Yahawashai. Verse 16, all scriptures is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable, profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, and in righteousness, that the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Okay, so these scriptures let you know that it's the scriptures. You need to be in the scriptures, seeking out of the book of the Lord and reading, you know what I mean? And attaining this wisdom, um, wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and verse 28 says, The most I dwell with none, the most I love none than him who dwells with wisdom. Okay, so you have to have this wisdom. I'm going I'm to jump, jump from there and go to um, Proverbs chapter um, 1, and I'm going to read down to about 7. Okay, and this is King Solomon. This is King Solomon, right? It says, The Proverbs. Of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity, okay, to give subtility to the simple. So this is for you, you know, simple-minded ones out there. Mm -hmm. It's for you to gain gain wisdom. That, that should be a duty of you, you know what I mean, to, to, to gain wisdom. And that wisdom, like it says in um, Ecclesiastes, chapter, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13, let us hear the whole matter, okay? Fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Sure. Those commandments give you wisdom, man, for this is the whole duty of mankind. So right here, to give subtility to the simple, okay? To the young man, knowledge and discretion, 
A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Okay, to understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. So you got to try to attain this wisdom. Okay, verse 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and destruction. So it's better to be wise than to be a fool. Okay? So as we're saying right now, this, this lesson right there now is for the brothers and or sisters who, who are trying to dwell in wisdom because the most I love none than him who dwells with wisdom. Okay? That's what it is. That's right. And um, <clears throat> Lord loves none that do, but he that dwells with wisdom, man. Okay, so, you know, we speak it to our people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, so, you know, things are going to heat up even more, man. Okay, right. you know, me and the brother, we always go into the, you know, it's not, it's not going to get better. Okay, life as you know it isn't going to get, uh, go back to normal, man. All right, the days of, 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 of normal is over with, man. Okay, you see the uh, biblical prophecy coming to pass. Okay, and, and now it's time to, to learn what you have been taught. Okay, and to the brothers and sisters that are uh, new, okay, hey, it's time to soak in all you can because we uh, time is, we don't have that much time, man. And this is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 1. I'm going to start at 13. It says, Whosoever feareth the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. Okay, we're at the last right now. And he shall find favor in the day of his death. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's right. Okay, and it was it was created with the faithful in the womb. All right, so you know you got to fear the Lord, man. Okay, you got to fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is wisdom. Okay, That's right. <laughs> you know. That's right. You know, you you got our people just walking around here on planet Earth. You know, look, man. You know, our people done try to. They got into all type of uh, uh, Africanism and. Egypt, be following all type of Egyptian gods and following white man, the, the so-called white man Jesus, man. That ain't the way, man. Okay, and it's hundreds of thousands of our people out there, man, just lost, man, trying to find a way. They trying to find a way because they, they're tired, man. You know, right. and, and, and 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 you know, we were we we me and uh me and this brother right here, we were uh, once in darkness before, man. That's right. Okay, so we 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 can understand where where you Jakes are coming from, man. You know, you you're angry, you're trying to find a way, but this is the way, man. This is the light, the right way. <laughs> you know, this is the way out. You know, you because the, the, the so called white man is never going to love you, man. Okay, and look, you know. We, 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 we give you the truth, man. We speak out of the scriptures. We tell you, man, you got to repent, man. You know, at the end of the day, man, you know, you, you Israelites, we tell you Israelites, but at the end of the day, man, if you if you don't repent, man, you ain't going to make it, man. You know, and that, you know, you, the, the Lord is going to have mercy on who you have mercy on, man. But Jake, you got to repent, man. You got to come out of your, your evil and wicked ways, man. That's right. That's right, brother. And not only that, the window the window of repentance is open, but it's fastly closing. That's right. Okay? The, the, the Most High is um, sealing, sealing his elect. Mm -hmm. You know? We, we cannot put a time in on it. That's not, it's not for us to know. That's the Most High's business and job. You know? He knows all things. That's you right. know? But we know, say, it's open. The window is open, but it's fastly closing. So you don't have all the time you feel like you may have. That's that's Jake's problem. Mm -hmm. They always think that they have another 10 or five years, but when you measure the time diligently within itself, as it says in um, um, Second Ezra chapter nine and verse one, mm -hmm. you see where we are in prophecy. You don't have that much time, mm -hmm. okay? So if you're trying to acclimate yourself into this society, thinking that you're gonna go the next five to ten years and try to create a soft, a soft landing for your kids and all of that mm -hmm. stuff, you don't have that time. That's right. Yeah, I'm going by, 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 by. When you measure the time diligently, you don't really, you really don't have that time. But I'm um, continuing on. As it, as it says in the book of Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord will do nothing but he reveal his secrets to his servants, the prophets. So this next scripture I'm going to read right now, letting you know that the men of the Lord have been on the highways and the byways and talking to you, 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 you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans who are Israelites. We've been talking to you. We've been telling you that, that pestilence are going to come. 
that race wars and riots and sedition among men and all these things are going to come and they stand to come. The prophecies are speaking loud and clear. So this is um, Proverbs chapter 1 and 20. And it says, Wisdom cried out with Salakia. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. Okay? She cried in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city. She uttered her words. Okay? Saying, how long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? Mm -hmm. And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools mm -hmm. hate knowledge. Mm -hmm. So you see, we, the, the men of the Lord been bringing it out, been bringing it out to you, to you, and I'm trying to get uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to um, see that uh, uh, the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. You have to see this. You got to see through spiritual lens, okay? You have to go to that Revelation um, chapter 3 and verse 18. You have to have eyes self. You got to be looking through spiritual lens and not thinking commonly. So the scripture says, uh, Proverbs 1 and 22, How long will you simple ones, will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? And this is the precept for that. This is Isaiah 6 and 11. Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants and the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate. So see, see our people, they don't, they don't, um, they, they don't take telling too much when you try to talk to them. That's why most of the time when the, when the, when the, when the, when the Lord talked to some, he, like, uh, for, for example, um, Ezekiel, I believe it was Ezekiel, when he say, uh, they say, he say, do our people, Israel, do they, do they face be hardened? Uh, what was the scripture used? Though their face be hardened again, uh, I'm gonna harden your face against their yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Our people. That's why the scriptures. What is it? Baruch, Baruch, um, chapter two and verse thirty. Our people is a stiff neck mm -hmm. set of people. Stiff. So if I know they would not listen because there was a stiff neck set of people. Our people is a stiff neck set of people. So it's not easy dealing with them. The law, you know, it's, the law say uh, uh, they're not gonna listen to you. They ain't listening to me. Right. <laughs> you know. There you go. <laughs> that, that's what I was going. Yeah. That's what I was going. You got it. You got yeah, it. Bro. it it's uh, Ezekiel 22, you know, this is, this is a land back to brother right here, man. This is Ezekiel 22 and 18. This is son of man. The house of Israel is become, is to me become dross. Okay. And that word dross is that, uh, that, 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 that scum that's on a, uh, on a, um, on a, a quarter. Right. That, uh, residue basically. Right. And it, when you, when you try to scrape it off, that, that, that worthless, when you look up the word dross, it, it says worthless, basically, you know? So the Lord said, Israel has become to me worthless and that scum, you know? Right. Because you're supposed to be uh, gold, man. You're not supposed to have any dross on, on, on you, okay? That's right. It says, all they are brass and tin and iron and lead, and in the midst of the furnace, they are even the dross of silver. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, because ye are all become dross, Behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So will I gather you in my anger and in my fury and I will leave you there and melt you. Okay, so Lord, <laughs> you know, the, the, the Lord is fed up with, with, with our people, man. You know, the Lord has said, Cast us away. He's bringing the remnant back. But the rest of you, man, you're going to be melted here, man. You're going to, the Lord is going to leave you here, man. All right. You know, all you Jakes who, 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 who don't want no part of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, you shun the man of the Lord. You don't want to hear it. The Lord got something for you, man. And, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, a lot of people, they say that's hateful and, you know, Jesus loved everybody. You know, hey, show me that in the scriptures, man. <laughs> Show me that in the scriptures because the Lord is only coming back for the remnant. Okay, the remnant of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that were scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, man. That's right. But well, we we only could tell you, you know, we only could tell you, and we try to tell you through 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 the scriptures. Okay, so this is uh to continue on in the lesson. This is um, Proverbs chapter eight and verse one, and it says, "Do not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice." She standed in the top of high places by the way in the places of the path. She cried at the gates and the entry of the city and the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. So the Most High is speaking to you, okay, the sons of man, okay? Uh, verse 5, O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of understanding. 
heart. Be ye of an understanding heart. Okay. Here, for I will speak of excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be right things. Okay. This is what you should be seeking for. For my mouth shall speak truth and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. Okay. And this word forward means unruly. Okay. They are all plain to him that understandeth and and write to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared unto it. And wisdom dwell with prudence and I find out knowledge of witty inventions. Okay, so you see, there's nothing that could be um, compared to wisdom. Not your house, not your car. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing could be compared to wisdom. Once you have wisdom, you're good. You know, it says um, money is a defense. Wisdom is a defense. Okay, if you have if you have if you have money, but if you don't you don't have common sense. You don't you don't dwell with wisdom. That's right. You can lose your money easily. Yeah, basically, the scripture says you got money and you you basically you're a fool. You know, you got uh, several uh, stories in the scriptures where a, a men had money. You got you right. look at a story on the ball. Okay, in King David, right? The Lord killed, put him the ball to death, man. He was a fool, you know. And um, go ahead, brother, you got it. No, you got it. No, I was just uh, you know, I wanted to land back on what you were saying, man, okay. because um, you know, a lot of you jakes, you know, you were in um, <clears throat> you're you're in comfort, man. A lot of you jakes, you you know, you got money and you think you're good and you think you know. Scriptures tell us that money, uh, in the day of of uh. Uh, As Ecclesiasticus eleven uh, and twenty five, riches profited not. In Sa the day. eleven and four. Uh, Proverbs eleven and four. Uh, matter of fact, let me get go it. to it. I think it's Proverbs eleven and four. I was thinking of a different scripture. So Come on, this is uh, Proverbs eleven and four. Yeah. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness deliver from death. Man. That's right. That's righteousness right. deliver you from death. That's man. right. Not 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 money. Not 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 looting. Not rioting. So like, you got it, bro. <laughs> I, I, because I, the, the scripture I was thinking about was the other one. It, it line backs, it line backs up that yeah. Ecclesiasticus eleven and twenty five in the um uh, uh what it says in the day of uh, prosperity. In the day mm, of prosperity, prosperity, there's no memory yeah. of affliction, no, and in the no, day no, of yeah. affliction, there's yeah. no remembrance of yeah. prosperity. Mm -hmm. So your money is not going to save That's you, right. man. Yeah. You, yeah. you need to dwell with wisdom. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the spirit, <laughs> spirit let us hear. You know. Yeah. You know. So you know, you your money. Nothing. No, it's no other way, man. That's right. It's no other way. That's you know? right. Man. I'm gonna continue reading. Uh, I'm going to read a, re, verse 4. It says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. Okay? So, hey, that's self-explanatory, man. That's right. All right? So, righteousness can deliver you from death, man. That's right, brother. So this is, I'm going to continue on right now from um, the book of, where is this? I'm trying to get the book of Ecclesiasticus. Mm -hmm. uh, Ecclesiasticus. All right, I'll come back to this. Let me continue on. Let me go to Proverbs. This is Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 13. Okay. Um, I was getting something to land back off of the scripture that I mentioned earlier, um, um, wisdom of Solomon chapter eight and verse 21, how wisdom is a gift. Mm. Okay. Wisdom is, wisdom is a gift. At the end of that chapter, it tells you that wisdom is a gift. And then King Solomon started to go into it in chapter nine. He tell you how he, he talked and he sought to the Lord to, to give him wisdom. You know, the That's whole right. chapter nine right. is speaking about, um, uh, how he spoke to the Lord to attain wisdom. Mm -hmm. So wisdom is a gift. I, and even fear, even fear is a gift. Because remember, when you fear the Lord, you ain't going to do certain things. Right. And look how much people still do what they want to do. They're not really fearing the Lord because they do things no one said they'd be wrong. So it's like they're not fearing the Lord because exactly. they're still doing the things that they're doing. Mm -hmm. So the fear, fear itself is a gift. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was going to that scripture just now, but I'm gonna just continue from here. I'll, I'll come back to it. Um, uh, actually, I got it now. I see. I see. I was I was thinking about one, but it's actually eighteen. Ecclesiasticus one 
and verse 18. That's why I was looking at one up there, Salakia. Um, it says, the fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish both, which are the gifts of the Most High. And it enlarge it there, rejoicing that love him. So it's saying both of them are gifts, meaning mm -hmm. fear. The fear of the Lord is a mm -hmm. crown of wisdom. So the fear and the wisdom mm -hmm. is a gift That's from right. the Mosaic. Bro, I want to make a point, bro. <laughs> a gift. Right. So there's nothing you can do to, you know, you you can't, act, you know I mean, you can't, the Lord has to give that to you. That's right. When somebody gifts something to you. That's right. It's, you, you have to receive it. That's right. You know? <laughs> That's right. You know, and, 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 and these times, man, only the elect is going to have uh, this this type of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Not the wisdom of this world, man. That's not right. that. That's not going to deliver you from what, what's coming, man. You see, and, and, that, and that just tells you how much the Most High loves us because mm -hmm. He's given us these things as gifts. Mm -hmm. Look here, this member, Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself, for it is the gift of the right. Most High. So even our salvation mm -hmm. is a gift. A gift. You understand? Yeah, so all right, of this bro. is of the Most High. That's right. You see? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> a, a, a gift that, you know, ultimately we, we really don't deserve, you know? That's right. And, and, that, and that keeps you grounded and keeps you humble, man. It keeps you seeking the Lord, that's man. Right. That's right. Wholeheartedness. That's all your strength. That's right, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. But this is Proverbs uh, chapter 3 and verse 13 it says happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that get it understanding for the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than fine gold she is more precious than rubies mm -hmm. and all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared unto it so i was i was saying earlier you cannot compare nothing with wisdom this is the top knowledge that's right There's nothing could be compared to this who said it who said it uh, one of the one of the presidents Said it, uh, uh, Theodore Roosevelt, mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, a thorough, a thorough, uh, a thorough knowledge of scripture is better than any college education. So, you see? And that's true. That's you right. Know? <laughs> you know, King Solomon, he asked for wisdom, man. Daniel. And, 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 and make a point of what he just said. The first thing he said was, happy is the man. That's right, you bro. Know? That's right. Happy <laughs> is right. the man. Uh, right. You know? Because, <laughs> hey, <laughs> At the end of the day, you having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and actually, you know, applying it and using it in your life, okay, this this is going to lead to your salvation, Lord willing, man. That's right. Because these people in the world, they, they don't have no clue what's going on. I'm telling man. you, bro. None. I'm telling you. So, you know, uh, for, for us in this faith, man, household of faith, this is really, truly a gift, man. Yeah, you know, I want to get, um, I wanna, this is going to be my last scripture. I don't know if the brother got any more. This is uh, Proverbs 22 and 3. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil That's right. and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Okay, so a prudent man would, would, would see, okay, damn, man, even if you wasn't in the truth, you clearly see something wrong. That's right. Okay, and, uh, okay, you see something's wrong, what do you do? Okay, you... you Man, I got man. God must be angry, right? <laughs> you know, I'm telling you, brother. He was, he, uh, clearly, people see twenty. They keep saying twenty twenty is a movie. You know, twenty. Man, every time you go on a comic board, somebody <laughs> saying, "Man, twenty twenty is a movie." What? 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 what, what the brother, the, our, our apostle to us says, "They have prophecy." <laughs> hey, so you're right. Hey. <laughs> You know, a pause to all. Yeah, indeed. 2020. Yeah, yeah prophecy. prophecy. So, you know. Man, I'm, what? I'm, I'm what? telling you, brother. Man, I ain't never seen a year like this, man. Oh, hey, my goodness. In my, in my 31 years on the, on the planet, man, I ain't seen nothing like it, man. <laughs> nothing like it, bro. I got you, brother. Get get that right there. Okay. I, will, I, will, I will continue reading right, from right here. This is, uh, this is, Proverbs. I'm continuing on from Proverbs. Okay. Um, I'm going to continue from, uh, uh, where are we at? The last scripture I read was Proverbs 3 and 15, which says, She is more precious than rubies, and uh, all things that can's desire are not to be compared unto her. So I'm continuing on from 16. Length of days is in her hand, and her and in her left hand riches and honor. Her ways are her ways are ways of plentiness, and all her paths are peace. Okay, she is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. The Lord 
by wisdom had founded the earth, and by understanding had he established the heavens, okay? By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not, de let not them depart from thine eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion, so shall thy be... Um, so shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Then shall thou walk in the way safely and thy foot shall not stumble. You know? So, I mean, it's wisdom, man. It's just something you, you have to have it, man. You, you got to do it. The Lord dwells, the Lord dwells with none than him. The Lord loves none than him who dwells with wisdom. Okay? Yeah, brother. Wisdom of Solomon, right? Yeah, right there. Seven. So this is our wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 7. It says, Wherefore I prayed, and understanding was given me. I called upon the Most High, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. Okay, so you, you, you can pray. You can pray and ask the Lord to give you wisdom, you know, and that's up to him to uh, have mercy on you and to actually give it to you because, you know, as we was going into, it's a gift. Right. right. So he, he, the only way to obtain it is the Lord, Yahweh Shemim Shai, has to give it to you. Um, it says, I preferred her before scepters and thrones and esteemed riches, nothing in comparison of her. All right. Nothing is, can, can be compared to wisdom. It says, um, neither compare I unto her any precious stone because all gold in respect of her is as little sand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man. <laughs> and silver shall be counted as clay before her. That's right. Man. Hey. <laughs> man. It, hey. <laughs> it, it, these scriptures. I'm telling man. you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got to keep going with this, bro. Man. It's beautiful. Man, hey. It's man, beautiful. It's still, hey. You know, certain brothers, <laughs> certain, certain, certain people like to get real deep into the scriptures. But, man, this this is deep right here I'm in the sand, you, bro. Man. I'm telling you, man. This, King Solomon. This Woo! deep, man. You know? Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, oh, this, 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 basically, you know, they he was what uh, Solomon is trying to uh, best explain how beautiful wisdom is, and he's telling you in comparison of other things that it's basically nothing can be compared to. That's it. Because <laughs> if you don't got it, you're gonna lose what you got. You right? You know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah, brother. Yeah, man. And then, uh, continue reading. <laughs> it says, uh, "I loved her above health and beauty." And chose to have her instead of light, for the light that cometh from her never goeth out. Okay, so, hey, so that's the light, the light, the light of, of who? You know, you, <laughs> go to go to um twenty twenty two, read twenty two to thirty. Okay, okay, jump down to twenty two. It says, "For wisdom, which is the work of all things, taught me, for in her is an understanding, spirit, holy, one only, manifold, subtle, lively, clear, undefiled, plain." Not subject to hurt, loving the thing that is good, quick, which cannot be let it, ready to do good, kind to men, steadfast, sure, free from care, having all power, overseeing all things, and going through all understanding, pure and most subtle spirits. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passive in going through all things by reason of her pureness. That's right. <clears throat> You see? So this this wisdom is beautiful, man. It, um, continue. This is 25, verse 25. Mm -hmm. For she is the breath of the power of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, Ooh. can no defiled thing fall into her. Ooh. You know? <laughs> hey, it's, it, it also, the scriptures tell us that wisdom cannot dwell in the malicious soul. That's right. So you got to repent, man. That's right. So the it Lord enter your exactly. soul. The Lord and the basically the Lord ain't gonna deal with you unless you you. Get, it says it. Exactly. He dwells with none. He loves none that exactly. dwells with wisdom. He's not gonna enter you. Is that so? Is wisdom, you know? is that, so the Lord can't even use you as a vessel until you gotta clean right. yourself up. You man. gotta be born again. Exactly. Yeah, with this word, you know. <laughs> it says, um, "For she is the brightness of the everlasting light." And uns the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High in the image of his goodness. And being but one, she can do all things and remain in herself. She maketh all things new. So wisdom uh, make of all, she make of all things new. That's right. You know, when wisdom come, came into us, you become a new man. That's right. You know? Absolutely. And in all ages, entering into holy souls. Turn it, brother. 
You know, holy souls, the holy spirits, man. That's right. That's right. She make up the friends of the most high. That's right. <laughs> she make up the, the you know, the Lord, the Lord. Hey, man. I'm telling you, brother. So basically, the Lord give you wisdom. You're his friend. That's right. <laughs> you know? That's right. You know, that's heavy, man. That's right. It even says that in the New Testament, too. Um, it says that in the New Testament, too, uh, 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 we, we his servants, but he made us his friends. He gave us this word. It's um, um, John 15, between 14 and 16 chapter. It, and it says, and prophets. Okay? So uh, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay, of Yahweh Shem will make you all these things, man. Make you his friend. You can, right. you can prophesy with it. All right. You can do uh, various things with wisdom, man. Okay. Absolutely right. And man. Okay. I'm going to continue reading. It says, verse 28, for the most high love of none but him that dwell with wisdom. Got it, bro. That's it. <laughs> for she is more beautiful than Woo! the sun. Woo! And above all the orders of stars, being compared with the light she has found before it. For after this cometh night. But vice shall not prevail against wisdom. That's right. Evil cannot prevail against uh, uh, wisdom. That's right. <laughs> See? So it's beautiful, man. Beautiful, man. Trust me. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Okay? It's wisdom. This is wisdom um, of Solomon chapter 8 and verse 1. And it reads, Wisdom reach it from one end to another mightily. And sweetly do it, she order all things. I love her and sought her out from my youth. I desired to make her my spouse, and I was a lover of her beauty. And you have to know that, you have to know that uh, when it says her, it's talking about wisdom. Wisdom is referred to as a lady, as her. Okay? Verse 3. In that she is conversant with the Most High. She magnified her nobility. Yea, the Lord of all things himself loved her. She is privy to the mysteries of the knowledge of the Most High and a lover of his works. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? If prudence work, who of all that are is more cunning workman than she? If a man love righteousness, her laborers are virtues, for, the, for she teacheth temperance and prudence. Justice and fortitude, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. If a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old and con and and conjureth and conjunctureth aright what is to come. She knoweth the subtilities of speeches and uh, can expand expound dark sentences. She foreseeth signs and wonders and the events of seasons and times, okay? You have to remember the Apocrypha is written in Old English, so sometimes you see a, a V that replaces a U. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Therefore, I, pro I propose to take her to, to me, to live with me, knowing that she would be a counselor of good things and a comfort in cares and grief. For her sake, I shall have estimation among the multitude and honor with the elders though i be young okay so you could be young and you get this wisdom continue on verse 11 i shall be found i shall be found of a quick conceit in judgment and shall be admired in the sight of great men when i hold when i when i hold my tongue they shall they shall bide my leisure and when i speak they shall give good air unto me if i talk much they shall if I talk much, Salakia. I was looking at the time under the phone just now, make sure that I didn't cut off. Salakia, where am I now? Shall give air unto me. If I talk much, they shall lay their hands upon their mouth. Moreover, by the means of her, I shall obtain immortality. So this is this, this is your salvation right now. This is how you use wisdom to get salvation. It's saying, moreover. By the means of her, I shall obtain immortality. Mm -hmm. This is when I, when I, when, when in the twinkling of an eye, our bodies be changed. Mm -hmm. When we going up into the chariots, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So, moreover, by the means of her, I shall obtain immortality and leave behind me an everlasting memorial to them that came after me. Mm -hmm. You see? Yep. That's it. That's, That's right, it. bro. That's it. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. You, you got something else? Um, I'm, 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 it's a, I got one more. This is Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse twelve. Uh, did you bring you did you bring that out? Ecclesiastes seven and twelve. 
No. Ecclesiastes 7 and 12? No. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 12. It says, for wisdom is a defense. I spoke of it earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you well, yeah you're right, you're right. right. Well, wisdom you're right. is a defense, and Sorry. money is a defense. Right. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that give life to them that have it. Okay, right. so wisdom can be a defense, man. That's right. Okay, in times of trouble, you got wisdom. Okay, we, when we go back and read our, uh, about our forefathers, uh, certain men, okay, we got examples of Joseph. Examples of Daniel, they were given wisdom and in interpretations of dreams to get out of their situations. Okay, Joseph, uh, he was uh, given uh, wisdom to interpret dreams and also Daniel. Right. Okay, so that was a defense. Uh, wisdom, That's right. The wisdom that they had was a defense for That's them. That's right. That got Joseph out of the prison. Exactly. That's right. And that got Daniel that, out of the, uh, out of the lion's that, that, that got him. Uh, uh, a favor with the king, with, man. With the king of Babylon, yeah, right? Yeah. That's right. So the scriptures are faithful and true, man. That's right. So in these troubling times, man, you are to use this wisdom, you know, and we got to apply it in our everyday life. All right. I got one more. And if you, if you want to close, we close it off for this last one. So we're going to make this last one. Um, um, we're going to take this one here from King Solomon. Okay. And that's another one of our kings mm -hmm. who we could use for example, because he was the king of Israel. He actually was a king. So yeah. he could definitely be used on, as an example. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we know King Solomon was the wisest man. Right. Yep. So it says, uh, this is, um, uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter six and verse 20. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bring it to a kingdom. If your delight be there in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. As for wisdom, what she is and how she can up, I will tell you, I will not hide mysteries from you, but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity and bring the knowledge of her into light and will not pass over the truth. Neither will I go with consuming envy for such a man shall have no fellowship with wisdom. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world, and a, and a wise king is the upholding of the people. That's what you need, a wise king. Okay, because what it says in Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous is in authority, right? Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> well, I was, I was when the in authority, authority, people rejoice. The people rejoice. Yeah. And the, and the right? Wicked, when when the they rule, the, the people the, mourn. The people mourn. So this is, you need wisdom, especially as a king. You need to see that good judgments. And, um, and, and discretion. That's right. Now, when Solomon did pray to the Most High to get wisdom, the Most High blessed him with everything just because of the fact that he asked for wisdom. That's right. And, and, and what we just said in Proverbs, when the, when, the, when the righteous are in authority, people rejoice. Are people rejoicing right now? Hell no. The, okay. <laughs> when the wicked bear rule, the people the people are mourning. That's right. People are looting and people are angry. You know? Yeah. Because <laughs> Job, Job 9, 24, the hurt was given into the hands right. of the wicked. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. 24 again. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world and a wise king is up is the upholding of the people verse 25 last verse receive therefore the instruction through words and it shall do you good okay so do you good yeah <laughs> so you know all of this what we we know what we bring in our scriptures about wisdom man it's um you know we have to actually you know speaking of myself first and foremost you know um you know it's time to it's time to use what, what, what we actually was taught, you know, and, and through the gift of wisdom, you know, that Yahweh Hashem has bestowed upon us, you know, it's, it's right. you know, we have to use it in these troubling times to, right. to you know, cause we, Hey, we're going to be put in some straight situations. That's right, bro. You know, and, and wisdom is going to be a part of our defense because the scriptures right. tell us it's a defense. Some brothers got money. Some brothers got wisdom, man. That's right. You know? I, I prefer the wisdom. <laughs> yeah, but, I, but speaking of myself, first and foremost, hey, trust me, ever since I learned the scripture says that the most I love none than him who dwells with wisdom from the day I learned that, I, I never let that leave me, man. That's sticking in my brain that I have to use that, okay? Because um, Isaiah 33 and 6, once again, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability, stability of the times the stability okay? being strength of salvation the That's fear right. of the lord and his treasure this is what we're going to need right now into the times that we're in mm -hmm. we're in this time where knowledge and, and wisdom going to be the stability of your time that's what we're in brothers and sisters mm -hmm. you know so you know when something's stable it's it's, it's solid it's, it's unmovable basically it's stable so you know it's on all fours basically like a car that's right you know Basically, the, the wisdom is going to keep you rooted. Foundation on a rock. That's right. It's going to keep you rooted in these times, man. Not not looting and rioting, man. 
Well, we established okay. we establishing Yahweh Shai. That's right. How about Shimmy Yahweh Shai? So you know, hey man. Lord willing, this was edifying. That's right, brother. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. All right, we want to give double honor to our apostles and elders for teaching us, this, teaching us this truth and who rule well. And peace, greetings, and salutations to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.